there are many people in the country who think that we beat tobacco. They remember the big lawsuits and the news stories from the 80s and 90s. They remember C. Everett Koop standing up against big tobacco. They remember David Kessler as FDA commissioner uh, pushing lawsuits against big tobacco companies. And they think, oh great, we came out on top, we won. But the tobacco industry is on track to make one of the largest profits uh, that it's ever made in the history of the industry this year. Uh, and that's happening because we haven't beat the problem. Uh, it's happening because a lot of people are still smoking, and smoking still leads the pack when it comes to preventable uh, diseases and deaths. You know, we lose, lose almost half a million people a year because of smoking-related uh, disease. Uh, so the question is, how do we get people to remember that? How do we prevent a whole new generation from re-engaging with smoking? Well, I will say that actually, I think the answer is sitting right here in the room. I think it starts uh, with, with all of you. And the reason I say that is because one of the things that we have lost over time is our messengers when it comes to tobacco. Now, there's certainly there are national messengers that we can have, like our former Surgeon General C. Aver Koop was one of them. Uh, subsequent Surgeons General have actually carried that mantle uh, of, to, of working against tobacco use. But we need more than national figures. Sometimes more important than national leaders are actually local influencers, are people who are student leaders, uh, people who are leaders at a university, um, at a community organizations, uh, elected leaders in a, in a city, in a city council, who can stand up and say that this is an issue we have to be paying attention to. So local leaders and influencers are, are critical to engage in that effort to raise the alarm that we have not gotten uh, past our challenges with tobacco and that we have to keep focusing particularly on youth and making sure that they're not smoking.